achieved. Hey what's going on everyone, I'm Silowell and today we'll be talking about the Ranger. The Ranger is a master of ranged combat and the only profession in the game that has a pet they can control and give commands to. They wear medium armor and have a utility skill that gives them the ability to stealth if they are standing still. The Ranger will deal devastating damage to foes while also having access to some unique mobility skills. The pet of the Ranger is what makes this profession unique. Rangers will have a ton of flexibility when choosing what pet they want. A Ranger of a certain race isn't bound to a type of pet. Rangers of any race can have any of the 12 different families of pets in the game. Each of the 12 families have 3 basic skills that define them and take the level of the Ranger. For example, Bears are hard to kill and Drakes do AoE damage. 12 might not seem a lot of pets, but each family has species within it, and each of them has a unique skill. The easiest example to visualize would be the Bear family. Within this family are polar bears who have a roar that freezes enemies, or a brown bear that has a roar that removes conditions. Every ranger player will want to use all of the pets and ArenaNet gave them the power to do so. Rangers have two terrestrial and two aquatic pet slots. Although a player can only have one pet out at a time, they can switch between the other pet with a click of a button, allowing the ranger to adapt to the situation. A player can swap out a pet even if it is in a down state. Swapping pets has a cooldown and a longer cooldown if the current pet was down when the player performed the switch. Ranger's pets have two stances, active and passive. This makes the mechanics of the ranger pet very simple. If the pet is in active stance, it will attack the opponent. If the pet is in the passive stance, it will just follow the ranger unless the player gives a specific command to attack. The ranger has two trait lines called Wilderness Survival and Beast Mastery, and also trait lines for each of the weapons they can use. The Wilderness Survival trait line focuses on general buffs of the character, such as buffs to power, precision, toughness, and vitality. The Beast Mastery trait line focuses on buffing the pet of the ranger, such as increasing the run speed of the pet, summoning the pet faster, or even buffing a specific family of pets. The two-handed weapons the ranger can use are the Great Sword, the Longbow, and the Shortbow. The differences between the longbow and the shortbow are simple. Longbows have longer range and are more powerful, but require the ranger to remain stationary. The shortbow is lightweight and allows the ranger to be more mobile, allowing them to use skills on the move. The one-handed weapons they can use are the sword and the axe. Their offhands include axes, daggers, warhorns, and torches. A ranger will be one of the most deadliest opponents from range, but because they have access to another weapon set in combat, they might be able to surprise some enemies with some melee damage. Rangers have two skill types available to them, traps and spirits. Traps are placed at the ranger's location and are activated once an enemy walks over it. Ranger traps will do things such as burn and chill foes, apply a bleed, or blind them. A ranger can only have one trap out at a time. When a ranger uses a spirit skill, it summons a nature spirit that buffs the surrounding area. It stays out for a short period of time or until the ranger walks too far away from it. These spirits can be attacked by enemies and only one of each type can be out at a time. A Sun Spirit, for example, will apply additional fire damage to allied attacks within the vicinity. The Ranger in Guild Wars 2 looks like no other I have seen before. It is very different from any Ranger, Hunter, and Marksman class I have seen in other MMOs. They give the player a lot of freedom and choice of what pet to use and why they should use a specific pet. There are going to be situations when a Ranger player has a light bulb appear on top of their head and says, a spider would be great for this fight, or the snow leopard would be perfect for this enemy. This aspect of the ranger should excite a lot of people that want the pet to be part of the profession and not some auto-attacking mindless beast. That's all for this week guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit the like button below and to subscribe to our channel. I'll see you all next week.